First field goal. Go for Chris Weber. It's a return to Washington where he's had some of his best, some of his worst days. We, I'm sure it's sort of a, a bittersweet moment as we see Iverson with a fadeaway. You know, Chris Weber. Run it for Kidd. Intercepted by Iverson. Three on two. Iverson to the reverse. <laughs> himself in the air, Allen Iverson. The greatness of the NBA game is in the open court, and this is what people love to see, the spectacular athletes, their ability to get in that lane, hang in the air. You see the self-pass, the ball off the glass, kisses it in. Great play there by Allen Iverson. With eight points, he was the co-MVP last season. Iverson, Allen Iverson, beginning to heat up. He now has six points. Well, we've seen two spectacular plays by Allen Iverson already playing off the ball. Look at the, the shot. Actually, his body is behind the backboard. He takes it over to his right hand, all in one motion, lays that ball up over the front of the rim and knocks it in. What a sensational shot by Allen Iverson. Allen, for an NBA player, this looks like it must be the ultimate playground experience, especially the way you're playing so far. It is. I mean, it's time to come out here and have fun. I didn't get a chance to throw Vince a lob yet, and I've been telling my... I've been telling my son I was going to throw a lob and, and, and let him see it, you know, at home. But I ain't have a chance to get to do it yet. Well, we've got we've got three quarters to go. You know, the way you're playing, I, I've got to think that maybe you're thinking about the uh, MVP here tonight. No, I'm not thinking about no MVP <laughs> because anybody to get MVP, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a part of it anyway just by being involved in the event. So I'm not thinking about that. I'm trying to get a win, man. All right. Thanks a lot. Let's go to Jim Gray. 91. West team incidentally lost to the East by two points. They've been a real uh, inspirational story in the NBA this season. Iverson off the steal for Sprewell, but too far. This is where, as a coach, you got to look at the guys and look. He's there to rescue. Here comes Sprewell. Iverson. Allen Iverson taking it to the basket. Now the West on the transition try to catch the East, but we attracted uh, much nationwide uh, negative publicity. Well, Marv, I live in Arizona, and I've, I've watched uh, Jason Kidd and his wife, and I've watched the way they've handled the situation, and, and he stepped forward, and he says, look, I was wrong. I embarrassed myself. Oh! Damn, man, you know what? You know what? I had a bet. I had a bet with my cousin how many times he's going to hit the floor tonight. That was only one. That's, That's the first time. That's it. I got three. I, hard, I, I got three. Help me win the Doug, uh, Allen Iverson out of the Charles Oakley School of uh, hitting, hitting the floor. And Allen Iverson so durable, but a guy who is always getting banged around, maybe 155 pounds. But dealing with this disease, to help them who can't afford the medications, at the same time to educate doctors and to try to find a cure for the disease. Any chance you think you'll get back on the court next year? Um, it's in God's hands, and I've been praying to him every night, you know, but evidently he doesn't want me to be, he doesn't want me to play basketball right now. There's some other things that he wants me to do, but when it's time, when it's time, he's going to let me know. All right, from all of us at NBC, we wish you a speedy recovery and good luck with everything, Alonzo. I appreciate it. Thank you. God bless. All right. All right. The idea at all that he was sick and, uh, and you couldn't see it in the way he played or the way he practiced, the way he came to do things every day. But to Rick Adelman, he says, Coach, he said, you don't have to play me anymore the rest of the day. Let these younger guys play. They play each other the first game out. So Rick Adelman said, here's Kidd. And uh, make it rebound number 20. The last player with 20 rebounds in an All-Star game. Charles Barkley with 21 in 1991. Oh, Marbury. Here comes Iverson. Bryant. It's only a seven-point game with four and a half to go. Iverson, does he get the continuation? Yes, he does. It counts. And the foul. And it's down to a five-point West lead. I, I love this, the fact that it got down to this point in the game. Five minutes to go. The game is in the balance. You're going to see the competitive nature of every one of these players now surface. Allen Iverson with the great drive to finish. The opportunity now for a three-point play. All right, the East with four seconds to get it across with the uh, shot clock running down with no problem at all, no pressure at all from, from the West. And then a foul is called. It's on Bryant, 4-11, remaining in the fourth quarter. Couple of uh, aspects at stake. The game and MVP honors. You see Duncan, 14-12, and 12, but tumble 21 rebounds. Iverson to the line with the West over the foul limit. 
the all-time all-star game record most rebounds in a single game Iverson for three Allen Iverson will often have bad shooting games but he'll come up and hit the big shots here comes Kidd Iverson with the steal but he stepped out of bounds <laughs> Allen Iverson with 13 of his 23 points in the fourth quarter. You can see why Larry Brown loves this guy. Watch him. Comes from nowhere. Tries to tightrope along that sideline. And Marvin, you said it so perfectly a while ago as he steps out of bounds. The other night in the garden, he was having a horrible shooting night. I think two or three shots late to win that game. He will keep attacking you. The West is better. The West is deeper. The West has got all the big players. And you know what? Right now, it's a tie game. Iverson has a chance to put his team in the lead so this is a big game for them they want to show don't discount the Eastern Conference Iverson 82 percent free throw shooter well still 10 to 9 10 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter but here are the results of the NBA.com polling for most valuable player we were talking about guys from the West earlier but the East turning it around coming back from a 21 point deficit so Allen Iverson leading the way how about Stefan Marbury with the clutch shooting down the stretch along with with Kobe Bryant? Well, now with Jason Kidd staying on the floor, it'll be interesting to see if Iverson runs off of him, goes to Kobe, forces Kobe to pass and maybe make Jason Kidd take the shot. All right, here's Kidd. The East up by one. Now to five. Marbury guarding Bryant. Now to three. Marbury trying to get to Bryant. Duncan came up short. It's, it's over. The East comes from 21 down to defeat the West. They outscore the West 41-21 in the fourth quarter. Mark, that's one of the best All-Star games I've ever seen. Just the big plays, getting back in the game. And you know what? Matumbo. Probably not going to get the MVP, but he gave his team a chance to win and for Marbury and Iverson to shine at the end of that game and give them a chance to win this basketball game. Look at look who changed the shot, Matumbo, and then here's Vince Carter on the rotation coming over, getting a piece of Duncan's shot. And the East is very, very excited. Let's go to Ahmad Rashad. Ahmad? All right, thank you very much, Marv. It is now time to present this game's MVP and to make that presentation. Here's the commissioner, David Stern. Alan, you showed, you showed tonight, along with a spectacular cast of the world's greatest ball players, why NBA action is so fantastic. It shows why we know that great play can be wrapped, you'll pardon the expression, in very small packages. Congratulations, the MVP of the 2001 All-Star Game. And you are the star of stars that's got to feel extra special, especially being home. It's definitely special. Um, where my coach? Where my coach? Coach Brown. Is he around? This, this is, you know, this is a tribute to Coach Brown, my teammates, my family, my friends, um, all the fans that have been loving me from day one. You know, just is a tribute to them. I cherish this for the rest of my life. I'm out here playing with the greatest players in the world. I'm at my second home, my home away from home. Coach Thompson, I love you. Ma, I love you. Tiara Tawana, my kids, I love you. Hey! All right, congratulations, man, on a great performance. All right, thanks. All right, let's go back to Ma. All right, thank you, Ahmad. A magnificent homecoming. He's from Hampton, Virginia. Allen Iverson leading that 37-15 run by the East to run it out and win by one after trailing by as many as 21. Again, the final score in an all-star classic. The East 111, the West 110 coming up on NBC, except on the West Coast. It's the Truman Show starring Jim Carrey for Doug Collins, Jim Cray, Lewis Johnson, Ahmad Rashad, Kevin Johnson, P.J. Carlissimo. I'm Marv Albert. Thanks for tuning in. You're watching the 50th NBA All-Star Game on NBC.